Okay, hi everybody. I'm so sorry that I am late. Um, technical difficulties, hashtag 2020. Um, I'm so excited to be on here with you guys. Again, I'm so sorry that I am late, but I'm so happy to be here now and I'm seeing lots of people are in here and that's always so nice. So um, welcome. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mary and I am the owner of a dog training company called Tully's Training and we work with Healthy Spot. We teach group classes at their locations in theory. Uh, right now all of our group classes are virtual. We also do private training. Um, we've been in business since 2013 and we've been with Healthy Spot for gosh I think like three four years now um, and we love Healthy Spot. It's a great company. They have so many amazing things in their stores. Oh my gosh. Shopping at Healthy Spot is like such a dream. Um, and yeah, a little bit about us. We are a positive reinforcement dog training focused uh, company. We like to focus on building relationships between our um, clients and their pets and teaching them how to communicate with each other a little bit, not like psychically, but like body language and stuff like that. Um, and we really like to focus on kind of a holistic approach to dog training, making sure that our animals are getting what they need to start with. Um, and then, you know, kind of going from there with training, which aligns perfectly with Healthy Spot because they have a holistic approach to every single product that's in their store. Um, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about holidays. We're going to be talking about uh, a couple tips that I have to survive them with your pet. Um, I'm seeing so many amazing comments. This is so fun. And, hello, everybody. And um, we are, I have some goodies that Healthy Spot sent me that I'm going to show you guys that are great. And then I'm going to save some time at the end for questions. And the questions can be related to the content of this little seminar we're doing. Um, or it can be about anything, any training questions you have any questions about life in general, um, you know, the meaning of it and such, uh, I'll be available for those as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I have some um, housekeeping things I just wanna cover real quick to get started. Um, so first of all, thank you so much for to Primal and Healthy Spot for sponsoring today's event. Um, I do, I'm gonna be glancing over because I have stuff written down because I wanna make sure that I'm giving you guys the correct information because some of this is like, you know, it's really important high profile stuff that we're going to be talking about here. So um, if you RSVP'd on Eventbrite for today's event, Primal is going to be sharing a special offer with our class attendees, which is 10% off in store Primal products, which is good. Um, and you can buy stuff online as well. If you didn't know that you don't have to go in store a healthy spot. They have a lot of their stuff online too. You can just go to their website and shop there. Um, so any Primal purchase, plus you get a free Primal Edible Elixir if you stop by any Healthy Spot location. So that's awesome. Um, the promo code online is, if you see the little title up here, all caps, WFH HOLIDAY. That's how you're going to get your 10% off. Um, and the in-store offers and the promo code are also going to be sent to you via email if you RSVP to the event. If you haven't done that yet, you probably can still do it. So. Um, there's a link in the Healthy Spot bio if you want to RSVP real quick um, so you can get that email. Um, and don't forget, this is the most important part. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway for a chance to win a prize pack valued at $50 from Primal, um, RSVPing is not enough. There's an extra step that you have to do. We need to make sure that you go on your Instagram and you post a pic of yourself and ideally your dog, um, enjoying our class and you need to tag healthy spot in it. So at healthy spot, you also need to tag primal at primal pet food at primal pet foods. And, um, also tag me because I want to see. So my Instagram is at Tully's training. Uh, so go ahead and tag all those people in your posts and that will enter you into a giveaway, um, of that we're giving away primal pet foods is doing 50 bucks of primal stuff. So that's great. Okay. So, um, we have so many amazing things that we're going to talk about today and let's just get right into it. So the holidays with pets are always extra crazy. Um, I also find that the holidays are a time when you 
realize how many things that you wish your dog knew um, and maybe they don't and the first thing I want to say you know what Jack's the golden doodle healthy spot is my favorite too they're really great um, so the holidays is not the time when you want to be starting new things it's just not there's too much going on even this year a lot of people may not have plans that are as complicated as they might normally have because 2020 is crazy and people are not typically doing as much as they normally would um, but even then you know you have to like you're ordering stuff and you're sending stuff and you're cooking things and um, you know there's there's always you're always trying to like do these traditions that you want to do and they always end up being more work than you remember and there's just always a lot going on and one thing that's important to remember about our pets is that they are typically mirrors of our feelings so a lot of times we might not realize that we're stressed or that we're operating at like an elevated level, but you might notice that your dog starts chewing up stuff that they don't normally do. They might go in the, to the bathroom in the house when they never do that. Um, and typically that's because we're stressed and even if we're not able to acknowledge it, they're picking up on it and their behavior is gonna be a reflection of our behavior. So the holidays is not a time when you want to start a new training thing or um, you know, add something new into your routine. It's more about just extra management and really setting yourself up for success. And when you set yourself up for success, then our pets naturally are being set up for success. So um, one thing that is really, really great for pets um, whenever anything new is going on, when you're in a new place, but especially around the holidays, is to maintain their routine. Um, so, you know, try your best to continue to feed them at the same time that you normally do. Um, try to walk them at the same time as you normally do. That might mean that you um, take a shorter walk than normal, but you would be surprised even if you leave at the same time as normal, even if you're not walking quite as long, typically you're going to get, um, you know, your dog's going to realize that that's their walk time, they're going to get their walk time, and maybe it's not their normal hour walk maybe it's only a half hour they're gonna be um, just fine so that's that's really really an important thing um, if you have people in your house still again try to feed them at the same time if you have um, a treat routine try to keep that the same um, it just really kind of helps them stay in their groove um, which is really important because typically you'll start to see more problematic behaviors show themselves when the routine is thrown off um, so try your best to keep the routine the same when you can of course it's not always possible but it's a really good one to try to keep in your head um, another tip that I have is to try your best to incorporate your pet into your plans so if you have maybe an idea that you want to go on a hike with your family um, try to find a hike that's dog friendly if you are going to a family member's house um, you know and you can bring your dog take them with you trying to incorporate them when possible into your plans is so great because then it makes it so that you don't have to do something extra afterwards um, to get them their exercise or that stimulation. So, you know, you don't want to go on a hike and then have to come home and you walk your dog. Um, that's where you need to be really honest with yourself about not what you wish you would do, but what you're actually capable of doing, right? So, um, you know, try to keep your expectations for yourself um, realistic and plan accordingly. And that can be so, so, so helpful. Um, so the next thing that is really, really important when you are um, have anything new added into the environment, so maybe you have family members that are staying with you that don't normally stay with you, and maybe they want to go on your walk when normally it would just be you and your dog. Or maybe you want to take your dog to someone's house for a meal or, um, you know, whatever it might be. Bring food with you. So... Um, it's really, really helpful for dogs to try to make it easy for them to be successful. So um, if you can bring treats with you, maybe something really delicious, um, then you can make it easier for them to be able to listen. And uh, that's something that is always really nice, make it easy for them. So one of the first things that I have to show you guys feeds right into that. 
in my box here. Okay, so we've got two different types of primal treats. We've got, these are some chicken shredders. These are so fun. It's essentially just dehydrated chicken, nice and simple. And this, these are beef chips. Um, primal treats are really great to use, and I love using them because they're pretty much preservative-free. Um, when you read the ingredients, where are they? It's essentially just beef is the ingredient. There's no uh, preservatives, there's no added salt, no added sugar, grain and gluten-free. And the reason why these are so nice to have um, around the holidays and whenever you're taking them to uh, a family member's house or on a hike or whatever um, is that you can give them a lot of these. So one thing that can happen if you have a treat that has a lot of junk in it is that if you give them your dog too many, um, they can get sick or maybe have an upset stomach. Um, and that's what's so great about these is you can give them so many and it's just beef or it's just chicken. So it's not gonna upset their stomach. You don't have to worry about giving them too many of anything. Um, and you can really just focus on um, reinforcing your pet for behavior that we like to see and then you're gonna see more of it. So um, definitely recommend primal, primal treats. Um, and yeah. Oh, also they're made in the USA. So that's really great too. Okay, um, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, kind of, okay, so let's say you are at um, somebody's house and you have your treats with you. Um, it's really tempting to try to get your dog to do something really interesting or, um, you know, have them do something that kind of can show off, um, you know, something new that they learned or whatever. And that's fun and you should, you know, do that. But I would really try to focus on asking for really simple things that your dog can easily do. Um, so kind of a th the three behaviors that I usually use with my dog when he's in a really exciting place, like somebody's house that he's never been to, is I'll use a sit, um, I'll use a watch me, and I'll use a stay. Um, and I will practice those behaviors a lot. And it's, it's really, um, important to remember that you know repetition for dogs is fine dogs really like winning they like doing what you want them to do so um, if you can ask them for something that you know that they're going to be able to do in a really distracting place and then you can reward them for them for that high you know a lot then that's going to really motivate them to want to listen to you more and what's more impressive to your family than a dog that actually like listens to you that's like the best thing ever so um, another thing you can do when you are around the holidays, when you have lots of people around, um, use barriers. So um, I really love putting up baby gates and having my dog um, usually by me because my dog is a dog who likes to um, grab snacks. And sometimes those snacks are paper towels, <laughs> which are not so great for him to have. And whenever we have people over, they might not be as aware that they need to keep track of paper towels like I am because, um, you know, a lot of people just can't remember your dog's specific idiosyncrasies. So I really like to use baby gates to keep my dog in a space that I call a yes space. So um, I might set up the living room as an area where I know that nobody's going to be going in there with food. He's got a bunch of toys in here um, and I know that he can be in there safely or I'll put him in the kitchen using some baby gates where I'm cooking so that I can keep an eye on him. So using barriers is really, really great. Um, just trying to set it up so that your dog is already going to be in a place where you know that they're going to be safe, that you're not going to have to worry about anything so that you can then ultimately enjoy your holiday, which is also really important. We don't want to just be worrying about our dogs. We want to be having fun too. Um, so if you are going to go somewhere, like go on a hike, and maybe you wanna find some snow, um, just a couple quick tips about snow safety. You definitely wanna keep your dog on leash, especially if your dog is not accustomed to being in the snow, um, because the thing about snow is that it hides everything, which seems like duh. Um, but it also, it can hide sticks, it can hide rocks. Sometimes um, if your dog isn't used to being in the snow, um, it can show different 
it can seem like everything is even and actually there's like a big drop off and they could fall and hurt themselves. Um, also, you definitely want to make sure that if they're going anywhere where there's been like a salt treatment, um, that they're wearing booties to protect their feet. Um, also, you want to probably put booties on to protect them their feet from the cold unless they have paws that are um, acclimated to that. But I do think that taking your dog places where, um, you know, you can be outside and they can run around and do all that stuff is so fun. You should definitely do it. But keep them on a leash, bring some booties, um, and then everybody, and food, and everybody should be a-okay. Um, so I think also let's go ahead and talk about keeping your pet occupied when, um, during the holidays. So this is kind of a twofold thing. Um, I think a lot of times it's really important to give your pet extra things to do when you're not home around the holidays because um, a lot of times pets will pick up on all that excitement and all that energy that we're throwing out because we're stressed um, and so they've got it all built up and then their exercise is reduced because we're busy and we might not have as much time to exercise in this we normally would and then a lot of times we're leaving the house for longer periods of time. And that's a, a recipe for, dis not a disaster necessarily, but it could be the recipe for some torn up shoes. <laughs> so it's really great to plan ahead and make sure that you are giving them um, stuff to do while you're gone. So that takes me into my next part of the goodies. So we've got a couple things here. Um, this right here is great. Um, this is a product that is made by Boredom Busters. And essentially it's a little mat I don't know if you guys can see, but it has these little, little, uh, I don't even know what you would call those. Um, but basically what you can do is you can put, you can pack this with food. Um, and then it takes your dog a long time to lick the food out and licking is a self soothing behavior. So when dogs are licking something for a long time, it naturally reduces their anxiety and can calm them down. Um, there's a couple things you can do. Healthy Spot has a couple products um, that they sell, which you can put on this. One of them is this amazing stuff. This is called uh, Bully Butter, and it's made of bully sticks and peanut butter. What? That's so cool. Um, so you can smear some of this on. This is not available online yet, but it will be. Um, so stay tuned. It's going to be available online soon. But um, everything in this product from, from, from the U.S., it's just peanuts and bully sticks in here. Um, and it's got a bunch of really great stuff. So this is actually really healthy for your dog. Um, another product that Healthy Spot has that's similar is called um, their True Chicken Puree. Um, and it's a similar consistency. Um, you can spread it on the mat or you can use it to fill other things, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And the cool part about using a product like that, because of course you could just buy some peanut butter or you could um, put some applesauce or whatever, cottage cheese. There's different things you could put on here, but um, that can be a little tricky because um, there are some preservatives and different chemicals that go in human food that are not so great for dogs. Um, and so if you just pick up a jar of something like this, a healthy spot, then you don't have to worry that there's something in it that's gonna make your pet sick, which is nice to have that peace of mind. Um, but basically you would just smear it all over this, smear. And uh, what I like to do with any of this kind of thing. Anytime I'm going to use a product that I want my dog to be looking for a long time and keep them busy, I'll freeze it. So I would fill this thing up. I would pop it in the freezer. And then whenever you find that your dog is seeming a little nervous, or if you need to go run errands or whatever, you can just pop this out and give it to them and it'll keep them busy. It will, um, fill their tummies a little bit. And again, that repetitive licking behavior will reduce their anxiety and probably after they're done, they're just gonna take a nice nap, which is great. Um, another thing you can use is something like this. These are amazing. I love any sort of um, toy that I can fill with stuff and give to my dog because it just is the best. So you can fill this with so many different things. You could definitely fill it with some of the bully butter. You could fill it with the chicken puree that Healthy Spot sells. Um, you can put raw dog food in here. You could put primal pet treats in here. Um, what I like to do is make a concoction of different things and mix it up in a bowl and I'll get like five or six of these and I'll stuff them all and freeze them and keep them in my freezer. And I call them puppy pacifiers. 
you also can put your dog's diet in something like this. And instead of them eating out of a bowl, they can just eat out of a toy. And um, basically what it does is it gives your dog something to do that will take them a long time. If you get the right size, um, one or two of these will take your dog 20 to 45 minutes to finish, after which they will have sat, they will have reinforced themselves for laying on their bed and licking something. Um, and then they'll usually take a nap. So um, if you've ever taken a class with me or if you've ever done any of private training with our clients, then you know how big we are about um, ditching the bowl and not feeding dogs out of bowls. We love to feed dogs out of toys. So it's, you might as well take their dinner and make it an activity because if you think about it, um, any sort of uh, omnivore or a predator, all of their problem solving skills that they have, all that brain power is just there to find food essentially. So what we do then is we give them food in a bowl and they eat it and that's over and they don't have to think, they don't have to find anything, they don't have to work for it at all. So if you can take that meal and make it an activity, um, now you've just made your life easier, you've made your dog's life more interesting and more fun um, and I just can't recommend it enough. Um, so yeah. Definitely a good one, rough wear. Um, this is called the Huck A Bounce Chase. And um, these come in different sizes. So this is great. Um, we also have something like this. These are really fun. So this is a, a, com this is a company called Updog. And these are, these little cubes are called, a product called the Odin. And it's a puzzle toy. So you can take food and you can put it in here and there's all different holes. And basically your dog can spend some time picking this up, throwing it, um, doing whatever he has to do or she has to do to get the food out of it. The cool part about these puzzle toys and what makes them really unique is that you can actually get several and you can combine them together like that. I mean, that's so fun. And then they can throw it and it will split because they're not like super intense. Um, but they bounce a little bit, they're made of rubber. So these are really fun. I would recommend with these, instead of doing, I would not probably put the bully butter in this because this is not something that they wanna chew. If you have a dog that's like a crazy chewer, this might not be the best toy for them. They would probably would do better with something like this. Um, but these are really fun, especially for smaller dogs with a little bit more of a gentle mouth. Um, and you can put kibble in here. You could um, tear up some of these primal treats and put them in there, something that's dry. Um, and these are great. These are so fun. Highly, highly recommend. And they're beautiful. <laughs> they look like a sculpture. You could literally like put this on your coffee table. So pretty. Um, so yeah, the Odin stuff is really, really, really fun. Okay. Um, let's see. And yeah, I think that's all that I have. Oh, also, um, all these toys are really easy to clean. This goes in the dishwasher, so that's just an extra bonus. Um, but yeah, definitely would recommend coming up with a plan. So with the holidays, it's all about management. Come up with your plan, figure out what it's gonna be um, to make sure that your dog is staying in their routine as much as possible, trying to incorporate them into your um, plans as much as possible just because it makes work easier for you and then I would recommend using some stuff like this so that when you aren't able to take them for walks and run around and do fun stuff you're giving them something to do with their energy um, and that's uh that's all you can do um, I am now going to take some questions and I start a little bit late, so I'm gonna hang on a little bit later and answer any questions that you guys have. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to let me know. Let's see. If I only incorporate dry food, how can I incorporate that? So um, Helen, I'm assuming what you mean is um, how can you incorporate uh, dry food with puzzle toys. There's lots of different kinds of puzzle toys. Healthy Spot has a bunch um, and some of them 
you can definitely use with dry food. Um, you also could, if you're if you're interested in potentially adding some moisture, um, one thing you could do is get like a little bit of wet food and mix it with the dry food so that it's like a cookie dough consistency. Um, and then once it's a little softer, you can pack it into a toy like this. You also could um, mix a little bit of like, I know Healthy Spot sells a bunch of different kinds of bone broths. So you could soak a little bit of um, the food in bone broth and let it sit. And then once it softens, you can pack it into a toy um, that way. Um, so yeah, that's definitely an option. Um, does anybody else have any questions about anything? Seeing lots of hearts. I'm so excited that you guys came um, to our little seminar today. Um, I hope that I gave you a lot of helpful tips and hints. I know the holidays are so, so crazy. Um, so I hope everybody hangs in there um, and has a really, really great holiday season, even though it's 2020 and life is insane. Um, Ruby, thank you so much for coming. CB Bear and Jamal, thank you so much. How to teach a dog to stop jumping on the dining table? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so our dogs have destroyed three lick mats. Okay, well then maybe the lick mat is not the toy for you and you might want to try something that's a little more, um, a little more chew friendly. Um, so yeah, I would, I would recommend not using something because the lick mat is pretty soft. So if you have a big chewer, um, you probably would want to use, um, something like this. Yeah. Try mixing it with wet food, Helen. I think that that will help. Um, okay. So jumping on the dining room table. So one thing that you is important to think about whenever you're addressing a problematic behavior is because when you think, I want my dog to stop doing something, that's sounds complicated and abstract. Um, what you want to make sure that you're doing is reinforcing them for staying on the floor, right? Because you want them to stay on the floor. You want them to walk by the table and not jump up on it. You want them to stay down. So, um, doing something like this while they're eating is actually a great way to reinforce, um, laying down while there's fun stuff on the table. You can, um, have a couple of these ready to go to make sure that they'll last the duration of your meal and make it part of the routine. Whenever we eat, you eat too. So you're going to eat over here on your bed with your Kongs, um, and, or your, um, rough wear toys. And we are going to eat over here at the table. And then whenever you're not at the table, um, to monitor the situation, make sure that there's nothing up there. So that way, if your puppy does happen to jump on the table when you're not looking, they're not going to accidentally reinforce themselves with something really delicious. Um, yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I will double check that before I am done. Um, see if there's any more questions, but, um, Thank you guys so much for joining today. Do not forget to share a pic of you and your dog enjoying class. Tag Healthy Spot at Healthy Spot. Tag at Primal Pet Foods. And that's going to enter you into the $50 giveaway um, for Primal. Go ahead and tag me too. It's not going to have anything to do with the giveaway, but I just want to see if you guys enjoyed class at Tully's Training. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that we have group classes starting at the end of January. Tully's Training does. Um, Healthy Spot is helping us uh, promote those and they're going to be all virtual. So we're going to be doing virtual group classes online until things change with the pandemic. We've been doing them the last few months and they've been really great. They're so fun. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about those, you can head over to our website. We also do private training. Um, if you have a problem that's maybe a little bit more complicated or if you have a lot of training goals, um, private training is really great. And we've been doing that virtually. And also when possible, we do, uh, do it in person, just socially distanced outdoors with masks on. Um, but obviously we can't do that everywhere. It depends. The rules keep changing. So we're trying to bob and weave with those rules to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to. Um, but if you're interested in private training or group classes, please head over to the Tully's Training website. Check us out, uh, tullystraining.com. And um, yeah, thank you so much once again to Healthy Spot and to Primal for promoting this event. This has been so much fun. I've had such a great time talking to you guys about all these amazing products. Um, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to shoot a healthy spot, a message. They will send it to me if, if we need it. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a really, really wonderful rest of your evening 
And now I have to figure out how to turn this off. I don't know. How do I do it? Do I just exit out? Yes. Okay. I got it. <laughs> okay. Bye guys. Thanks so much.